The way I had this video planned out in my head was kind of how I did last year's like getting ready for spring video. I wanted to get a haircut. I wanted to show you guys my spring makeup, which then I realized is just the same as my makeup tutorial I already did. I actually didn't even have time to do it like that today. I wanted to show you guys how I styled my hair. This is just air dried. It's the life of being a mom. I know I always say that, but it really does just change how you go about everything. The one thing that I do always have time for is my Kenzie hair removal. So I wanted to talk to you guys about that just because right now was literally the best time if you didn't see me talk about it in my last video and get it then. Springtime to just start your hair removal process and to start seeing some results. So let's go to Bathroom Laney, who does her hair removal in there. Okay, so let's get into my Kenzie hair removal routine. So I couldn't be more real on this channel and sometimes I feel like I'm almost too real because I'm coming bare faced, like my under eyes are insane. This is life with a newborn. But the one thing I've made time for is this little gadget because even making time for it, it's still so fast and like in the long run, you know, cuts down on so much time of like not having to shave. And if I'm going out and about and I decide that I wanna wear in the summertime, like I'm prepping and I decide I wanna wear uh, a sleeveless top or shorts or whatever. And then you know when you like put on your pants and you're like, oh wait. I didn't shave for like a week. Of course, I'm not saying you have to shave, but it's what I'm comfortable with. I, I like to have my legs and armpits shaved. Now to just like have this and always be ready. You guys know, if you watched my last video, I literally just keep this little guy plugged in and then I keep the uh, actual device on my sill right here and then I'll just plug it in to get ready to use it. But before we get into me using it, I wanna talk a little bit about just like the benefits of the Kenzie. So if you guys didn't see my last video, this is the Kenzie IPL handset. I have it unplugged right now, just to show you guys a little bit better. It's time and cost saving, easy to use with guaranteed results. It's an easy at home treatment. And, and if you guys wanna check out Kenzie, you can use the link in my description box to get a discount off. And has different wavelengths that can help reduce acne, obviously hair removal, um, age spots and just like overall skin rejuvenation. It delivers quick long-term results and as fast as two to three weeks and then full results in 12 weeks. So last time I did this video, I, I wasn't skeptical about the device, but it was my first month using it. And obviously with like making time in my day, I wasn't sure if this was something I was ready to like devote minutes to because that's how my timing is now with a newborn. I don't know how many times I can say that, but I started off with just my armpits because I was like, I'm not gonna devote any more time than I need to to test out the product than just on my pits. And I was so blown away by the results and like the way I go in my shower now and like take a razor, it's been I think two months now and I've I've only shaved like a handful of times since then. I I try to shower every other day and I'll go in the shower because I used to sh shave every single time I showered and I go and take a razor to my pits and I'm like, wait a second. There's no hair. My hair is growing back so much slower and thinner. It like, it just doesn't even feel like my armpit hair. So now I have fully devoted to my legs. Hopefully just as time goes on, I'll like do my bikini area and stuff like that as I get more and more time during the day as Lucy gets a little bit easier. So now my leg hair is starting to thin out. Um, I've done, like I said, my armpits for two months straight and then my legs for about a month straight. The way I can just like leave the device here, come in, like it's just a part of my routine now. It's so quick, like minutes to do even just my legs. I do knees down, but still like minutes. The IPL handset is sleek, ergonomic, and easy to use and has up to 10 years of flashes. There's a quick start guide and it is literally so easy to use. I was intimidated at first, I can say. And now it's just like, like I just keep saying it's so easy. It just like makes sense. It comes with this super long power cord. So you just never run out of battery and makes it so like, you can actually reach hard to reach places while plugged in. There's also a skin tone chart guide that the device comes with. So there's no like researching how to use it. It's all right there. 
There's a 12 month warranty and a 90 day money back guarantee. So literally no risk. And it gives you enough time to try out the product to see results and not just like a week of having it, you know? Kenzie also just has amazing offers to make this device accessible. They offer like part payments on the website and then you can get one or three detachments depending on your purchase. I've talked about this before, but I have done waxing. I've done sugaring. I've done shaving. I've done like like at the salon uh, laser hair removal and I've also done an epilator and the way like some of those processes hurt so bad or leave me with awful bumps and uh, ingrown hairs and I just never feel confident in the summer like going to swim or whatever. The only thing that has ever worked for me was laser hair removal but it's not very time effective or cost effective for me so this was like a dream device and I'm, I'm just so happy that I get to share it with you guys and that I get to use it. <laughs> So if you guys want to check out the Kenzie device, you can click the link in the description box or use my code OZ20 for 20% off your Kenzie IPL handset. Again, they also offer payment plans to make the device more accessible. That's K-E-N-Z-Z-I dot com. And use my code OZ20 for 20% off. Again, if you guys have used this product, leave your results in the comments below or if you got it from my last video, I'm so curious to know how much you guys are loving it. I hear Lucy. Let's get back to the rest of the video. <laughs> okay, so since a lot of the other beauty from this video kind of got pushed to the side and I literally can only make time for my hair removal, we're gonna show some outfits because we've got time for that. So what I do for the springtime and what makes me like get in the mood for spring, it's actually been like sunny in Michigan and like 50, 45, so it feels like spring to us. I put all my spring and summer clothes like in the basement for storage because there's no way I can wear them in the winter time, it's just way too cold. So I took out some pieces that I think will fit and also that I didn't get to wear last spring from being pregnant. So let's just make some outfits. You guys like when I just chit chat through outfits so that's what we're gonna do today. I know what I want to try on first. So I thrifted these shorts last year. I think Amanda actually found them and they are like, I can't believe how good they fit. They're the perfect like actual long boy short denim jorts, whatever you want to call it. I love the bagginess on the thigh and leg. I have a pair that are a little bit shorter than this that I wear or I wore a lot last year. I think I want to style these with like knee high boots because that's the only way I think I can get away with wearing them because spring in Michigan isn't like hot hot normally like you put a top on <laughs> for your outfit before you put some shoes on but i just need to see where we're going because we could do my heeled boots and like dress these up so let's see this is atrocious i love this top so much i missed it a lot this winter oh my god i need a haircut but i think these boots with these shorts it's giving spongebob like the squeaky boots so let's try some heeled boots like that looks a lot better but maybe these shorts are just summertime because last summer i wore them unbuttoned because my belly didn't fit with cowboy boots and i know a lot of you guys are asking where the cowboy boots went to me right now they're just feeling more summery let's try to add like a leather jacket balance this out and if we hate it we hate it i'm gonna try to stay more casual because i just don't know how often you guys are wearing like heeled booties so let's let's keep going I just don't know if I'm feeling it. I think I like the shorts. I don't know, maybe one of you guys will like this outfit and get some inspo from it and tell me like what's wrong with it because <laughs> I just don't feel like it's working. I tried to add these two little bows just to like make the outfit seem more intentional and not like, I don't know, like I'm wearing my boyfriend's shorts. I'm not trying to make it look like that. I keep saying this, but I like my outfits from the back. Why am I like that now? And also now we don't even see the cutie little top, but the thing is like wearing a tank in Michigan in the spring, like that's just not gonna happen. And wearing these shorts with just like sneakers, that's just like not gonna happen in the springtime. You gotta wear like at least some knee high boots. So let's just like put these shorts to rest. We'll bring them back out in the summertime when I compare them more summery. Okay, 
I just said that I was gonna dress a lot more chilled out and I will after this one, I swear. So a lot of you guys hated the underwear's pants outfit that I've done. So I think like if you like the look of just everything like really sleek, you know, tight fitting or whatever, opting for like little Spanx works just as well. And honestly, I could see myself wearing it like as this. I just pulled this vest out of my stored clothes and I am so happy it fits. I did not think it was gonna button because my other little vest that I have doesn't button over the chest anymore. So again, this is like night out. I kept the bows in because it makes it a little bit more springy because this is so like wintry. And then for a jacket, if I was doing like winter, I would do just like a big trench but since this is springtime, let's like add some more pattern. And the basket makes everything spring appropriate. What do you guys think of this one? I think it's really cute, again. Oh, I just love playing with clothes. This jacket's thrifted. And then I was getting a lot of questions about these knee-high boots. I got them off eBay, but the brand's The Loft. They're literally the most perfect boot. I won't put them on one more time. I swear, they're done. They're cut for this video. Let's, let's do something more springy and cash. The way this was like my go-to outfit two summers ago and it's still so cute these are brandon's jeans so he screen printed these like butterfly medusas on the butt i don't have a pair of light wash jeans that fit me just yet so we've got like the super baggy look going on but i don't think i want to keep this vest on i just want to show you guys like the black vest is so good hey girl is sweating but I promised I would do a chiller look and that's what we've got going on right now. This is such like a classic laney like summer or spring look. Little Hanes baby tee, camo hat, a pair of just like super oversized jeans and sambas. And then to make it fun, I'd add this little red leather bag from Versa Bags on Etsy. You guys know I am obsessed with her. They're the most high quality bags in the whole world. They are handmade in Greece like a family company, so I love supporting them. And I think just like the pop of red with this look is so cool and it's such like a tomboy look and then adding this like, you know, girly aspect. And then for jacket, I'd probably do, this is like my favorite springtime jacket. This is like my one jacket that I would wear unzipped because I think it just looks so cool. The shape of it is amazing. I posted a picture of it or uh, in it recently on Instagram and my brother Jackson literally texted me and was like, I want that jacket. I said, no, like that's a good look. It's so simple, it's so effortless, but like if I saw someone wearing this, I'd be like, they know what they're doing. I need to get myself a pair of these exact jeans, but in like two sizes smaller. How cute is this? And you guys know I'm a sucker for crossbody right now, so love this outfit. I feel so much more comfortable and confident in this outfit than the other two, so I don't know why I keep doing like more dressy looks, like casual is, is it's me. I told you we're keeping things cash, so look at these capris. I love them. They're Adidas, I got them off whatnot. And it would be so easy just to put on that jacket again. The silhouette of it just like makes everything look good. But I'm gonna try and do something else. Cause I, it's gonna be sporty this outfit, obviously. Maybe not obviously. I want that jacket. I thought I wanted something baggy to go with it, but I, I don't like this. I think I need something that's a little bit more cropped and fitted. I know I said I wasn't gonna put this on, but like, look how good it looks with it. Lightheaded. In the summertime, I think wearing like a baby tee with it, I'll just be good to go, but since we're trying to stay a little bit more springy, and I like to do the like mom sneakers, like very athletic look, like mom walking outfit. I know I've kind of shown this outfit already, like a really similar one, and I'm gonna try and stop, but like these capris are too cute. I'll definitely be wearing them all spring and summer. Next. No headband. Okay, this skirt needs to be steamed or something, but it's from Peachy Den. How stinking cute is it? I can't decide if I want sock or no sock. I think no sock, actually. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really thought I was going to like sock better, and I feel like you guys will like sock better, but I don't. Yes, I kept my Kirby sock on. Like, this way the boots work. I think it's very cute and casual, very springy. These two like, wind, oh my God. I didn't have my mic, you couldn't hear me. I'm an idiot. 
Uh, these boots I've said before, they're Abercrombie and then my Little Thrifted. These aren't matching colors like perfectly, but I still think they look really cool together. And then we just need my crossbody black bag. Like why did this bag just like make the look come together? My Prada Messenger. I normally don't show it in videos because it's by the front door because it's my everyday bag. But this look like was just calling for it, all the nylon -y material together. I think it's really, really cute. Luckily, my legs are so smooth all the time. I wouldn't even have to worry about shaving them for this look. And now we're banning this jacket. Let me guys, let me know if you guys like when I use like the same piece over and over or if it makes the outfits all feel the same and they feel like a cop out because to me, it feels like a cop out. And if you guys don't have like this item in your wardrobe, like all the outfits are, you know, gone but also I see it as like if you do have this item or if you're thinking of this item you see a lot of different ways to style it so let me know what you guys like or if I should just try and mix oh wait the peachy den this bag would have looked really cute with it too okay there's one more with the skirt peachy den skirt and then peachy den bag and the boots if it's warmer where you live very cute. This would be like summer for me. Okay, this is another one of my favorite like go-to spring looks are my giant Dickies overalls that I thrifted. They're like super baggy. They do absolutely nothing for the booty. This might be one of my outfits that I don't like better from the back, <laughs> but like, you know, it's just like the look. Um, I love these overalls in the summertime, but honestly, overalls can get pretty hot in the summer. So wearing them in the spring, Works really well for me too. I love pairing something baggy underneath the overalls, like in the summer, a big baggy t-shirt or in the spring, big baggy sweater, especially like a sweater like this with all the holes, it's like airy, breathable. Um, and then when wearing a super baggy pair of overalls or just like a super, super baggy outfit, sometimes adding a shoe with a little bit more like girth uh, can help pull the look together so I really like this outfit I know it's not everyone's cup of tea but it's like super super easy for me I know most girls wear like a pair of bagger overalls with like a baby tee and you know leave one side unbuttoned but I like to wear them in their true do nothing for my body form so yeah let's keep going I just had to try it you guys because I was like oh my god I never realized how well these matched I don't think these fit me at the same time. Last year, we've got the cargo skirt with basically like the matching jacket. Does this not have pockets? Oh, it does. They're just super discreet. I'm not like obsessed, obsessed with it. I thrifted both of these separately, so I just had to try them on together. I think to just let the like cargo skirt do all the talking works for me because it is kind of like such a big piece it takes like a, a lot of attention I never knew how well this fit because I had it when I was pregnant and I feel like I was just kind of like rigging it to fit and it fits me so well like this is definitely going to be a summer staple I think it's so stinking cute with like the slit in the back I can't believe I found this and it feels so good that like I basically forgot about it and to take all my stuff out again in the new season like it feels like I went shopping without going shopping it's the best this is more like summery to me because it's just a t-shirt. So I think how I'd wear it in the spring is just a big oversized crew neck. This one's from Aritzia and I swear they don't come like fitting this well. You got to wear it in. You got to put the time and effort and then you'll have like the most amazing fitted crew neck. I love how this outfit looks honestly. My Kirby socks are throwing me off but I'm just too lazy to put different socks on. I wear my Kirby socks all the time so I'd probably genuinely wear my Kirby socks out. We could do like, no I don't think the basket's the right vibe. Actually I think the peachy den bag. I keep wanting to call this the Mimi bag but that might not be what it's called. Like just pulls it all together. It feels like very springy even though you're covered you'll be warm enough uh, and can obviously add layers underneath or take layers off which I really like about this outfit. This outfit's really really cute. Oh my god I could totally see myself wearing this. It's a very very laney outfit and I feel like right after giving birth and like my body kind of you know getting back to whatever fitting in my clothes. So I won't even say it's original state is nowhere near that. I was just so excited to put my clothes on again. I was coming up with some really, really chaotic, crazy outfits, but these like simple toned down, you know, like 
Just super casual outfits I feel like are just way more my vibe and way more realistic for me. They make me feel so inspired and excited. Uh, so I hope you guys are okay with these more chill outfits. I love this with the pop of green on the shoes and then the colors. Speaking of which, I wanna put on a less chill outfit. No, it's too summery. I just wanna try this dress on, okay? I never got to try it on and I thrifted it, so I'm gonna show you guys. Isn't this dress just to like die for? I thrifted it last summer and I could tell by the cut that it was just gonna be amazing. It's got like two little front pockets. It looks really similar to something I got off Whatnot because I honestly forgot I got this dress. Um, it does not zip the last like inch because of my rib cage. So I don't know if that will ever shrink back down to like its original state from my belly opening but I just had to show this dress because it's so cute and I pulled it out of my basement today and I was like oh my god I thrifted that and never got to try it on because I was like eight months pregnant I think when I thrifted it you guys it's so cute okay let's show another like outfit I'm sorry here's another little outfit that I end up wearing in the summer a lot these pants fit me when I was very pregnant now they just fit a little differently which I actually like more but they're a bit baggy but I love my little black loafers in the summertime, just like with no socks. <laughs> Obviously like the t-shirt is just summery, but I like just like the very simple look of this all. But I think for the winter, I'd obviously just add a sweater. I said winter, but I meant spring. I literally have worn this outfit when I was so pregnant. So that's just like so funny to me how different it looks. I added the little bows again. These are just ribbon I tied into bows and then hooked onto bobby pins. And like, I think it's just such a cute and fun little look, very baby. Yeah. but this outfits like it's just so cute and simple no too much plaid i'd probably just wear my black any black bag with this the classic like it's cute um i've shown so many like spring outfits recently so if you guys just want more inspo look at like my past couple outfits videos they're definitely mixed with spring and winter outfits so if you feel like these are still just not warm enough for where you live you can check those out i'm excited to do again more warmer looks I wanted to keep these a little bit more like warm, but you know, starting to show a little bit of skin finally after like a long cold winter. Actually, this winter was pretty warm. <laughs> That's it for this video. Remember to check out Kenzie. You can use the link in my description box. Thank you so much to Kenzie for sponsoring this video and thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you want to and I'll see you in a few days. Bye.